Good day. So in Matthew 9.59, Jesus says to one of his disciples, um, after the disciple says, let me go bury my father. Um, I'll put the quote up on the screen here. And Jesus says to his disciple, uh, let the dead bury the dead. And go on and continue preaching the um, and teaching the kingdom of God and a lot of people would be like what does that mean well to me what happens to a person when they're reborn into Christ or reborn into the Holy Spirit whatever uh, um, religions that's behind it you know Hinduism is like when you have an awakening to the true spirit that is when you get the life so Jesus is the the way the truth and the life so until you're reborn into Jesus or in other religions uh, other deities and other um, things once you really connect to that that is when you're living so that means all the time before that you're dead and so what he's saying in that statement is if they are not awakened in this time then there's you're saying uh, you're saying goodbye to no one because they're dead right they're they're not in that body anymore all of that stuff is just vanity all of the world that they live in is an illusion it's like in the Matrix, you take, uh, do you want to take the green pill and stay dead and just be a cog in a machine and not even know you are? Just realize that you're just a, uh, an illusion, you're just a, uh, a fractal of everybody else that's no individuality? Or do you take the red pill and realize who you are and what truth is and get open your eyes to the truth and discernment and then you start to really live and know what world's really going on? So, you know, when you awaken to the Holy Spirit, you realize death is an illusion, and then you have no fear of death. And that, to me, is, is when J Jesus comes back to you, he gives you eternal life. A lot of people talk about these, all the people walking around are just NPCs, or they're just... Uh, you know, fillers or extras in a movie because they're none of them uh, really do anything or affect anything. And I do believe that's kind of what Jesus is saying. That these people are are dead. And not, not only that, you 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 don't really have to worry about them when they just live in their machine and they're happy. However, when you take these dead people and you fill them full of ideologies that make them angry and resentful and want to go and fight and then you use them as soldiers in the, to try to push that illusion, then it becomes, <clears throat> then it becomes the zombie apocalypse. <laughs> so when you see these big, huge crowds of people, when they have all these ideas that let's go stop the fossil fuels now they are possessed by an ideology because they haven't thought things through and so, actually looked at what that would do that would be billions of people dead if any of these people had any serious power there would be billions of people dead and they would think they have God behind them not, well, a lot of them don't believe in God at all, but they believe they have good behind them. One of my uh, Christian friends, he's like, used to be a fundamentalist, and, and like he's become, you know, a little more balanced, but he still has some spunky ideas. He like said he wanted to make a video, and he wanted to like have all these girls go and um, 
stand on the train tracks and make sure no uh, gas could get moved around. And this was his idea of, of like acting as Christ would act. That's why we should get be very careful with getting behind any ideologies that we don't know the long-term outcome of or what the actual intent of these people are. Even right now, there's going to be a lot of people coming to save the day after all of these tyrannical people had free-for-all the last three years in this world. And we have to know that the more that we have people that need help, the more saviors are going to rise up, more, the more uh, false or antichrist conscious people that really are acting as Christ but don't realize that they're acting for their own egos, for their own narcissism. And that's what I think politics does, is it does make a, the people that want to be in the game are these people that want to be... It's, it's a narcissistic game. It's a game that you have to lie. You have to be deceitful. You have to do all these uh, virtue signaling things. Yes, we do eventually need to have proper governance in this country. However, I don't see there being enough power for anything to happen, unfortunately, in these elections that are happening right now. And if we do have somebody that somehow has a huge pedestal and it, all of a sudden all these people are liked, remember he's could be, he could be just have a golden tongue that makes everybody go, wow, he's amazing, you know, like, uh, and you know, like I, I look, I'm happy that Kanye West started to speak out about his religion and like, however, he, did he have discernment? to get rid of the uh, spirit of Delilah that was in his life? Kim Kardashian? That's a Delilah. No, like, he didn't. And not only that, he, he picked fame over his truth with God for a very long time. So, to me, that, I look at that as his fruit. He can have this uh, golden tongue and say all the right stuff at the right time because he's got that pedestal to do it. However, don't think he's some kind of savior either. He could, and he could be. I'm not saying. Maybe he was. Maybe he's had a reawakening. Maybe he's. I. None of us know it. Only God and him know his fate. However, this is how we have to be. We have to be extra cautious right now, and we, I, be guilty in, uh, until proven innocent. Right now, we um, we are seeing many, many antichrists right now, and this is the this is the antichrist system that is in place right now. This is the system that keeps us away from God and in the flesh, which when you're a friend to this world and you love this world, you likely love God less. So it's kind of interesting that we're made out of six neutrons, six electrons, and six protons, our flesh, and this world, 666. But I do believe that we are going into a new world where the meek will inherit the earth. So right now, to love this world and have all a ton of people around you and any kind of nepotistic rings that could get you voted in as a politician or power means that you've been forgetting that truth inside your heart for a very long time and for you to show us new fruit all of these people that have lived in this darkness or in death for this long have to live in redemption after they're after they've repented they have to live in redemption for quite a while to prove themselves 
to other people like to redeem a person's self they have to they have many many uh, they, if they've spent a lot of time in sin it's going to take a lot of time for them to redeem themselves to the others god that's i'm not talking to god i'm talking to, for our trust that's between the person and god and i know this beast system just sprays all of these chemicals up in the air and they're controlling our weather with them and not only controlling our weather but they're spraying toxin, toxins in there that are, are interfering with our connection to God because we are electric beings and we have receptors and when they mess with our receptors with all these these nanoparticles and things that we don't understand when they try to stop the Great Awakening by spraying all of these, these uh, chemtrails in the sky and changing our weather to keep people in fear and they're attacking all these other countries with weather so, so they can pretend there's, that it wasn't them. Let's just pray that this comes to an end sooner than later. We know it's going to come to an end. You can always be there to try to awaken people you preach, you let the dead bury the dead. So if there's people that are seriously, like, it's when it's pearls upon swine, then you know, that's like saying those, those are the dead. There's some people that are, like, on life support, and they want to be brought into, into the eternal life. And that's why we need to preach to them, because those are the ones we can save. However, only put your hand in a couple inches to pull those people out of the river. They need to do m most of the work themselves. Will there be a time when Jesus comes down and truly gives us eternal life? Where we, this body and this soul and everything and the spirit is eternal. I don't know. I don't know if I'd even want that. We need to have cycles. Jesus is here already. And he's been here for a very long time. He's been in some people's hearts forever. However, now he's awakening in many people and they may not even know that it's him or maybe they don't want to call it him or they want to call it something else but Christ consciousness <clears throat> is spreading through the collective consciousness right now spiritual warriors are standing up right now we can feel the presence of Archangel Michael. They will try all their little tricks. However, this story has been told and we know how it ends and how the next one begins. A lot of us are already in the new world. We understand that we're going to being in a parallel society, a parallel world, we're going to have to deal with issues of the old world and we're going to have to go dive back in and be spiritual warriors. That's part of what this is about. But in our minds, we will be in the new world. And as long as we start to separate the wheat from the chaff and let the tares be what they are, the dead burying the dead. We are in the time of the reaping. We are in the time of the awakening. Some people are going to awaken and go absolutely crazy because they didn't have the spirit of truth. What their whole entire identity is built upon is lies. There'll be a lot of us that will just praise that this day has finally came. 
So if you guys uh, have enjoyed this video, please press the subscribe and like button. Share it out there to the world if you like what we're doing and get involved with the conversation if you'd like. If I'd like to start to kind of make a little community where we could do um, like uh, Zoom calls and like chat with people maybe like once a week or something like that or once a month. And uh, I know a few people that would be interested in that. So um, if you're interested in that, you can contact me too. Uh, I'll, uh, I'll put my email address right here. So have a lovely day and God bless.